Welcome back YouTube, it's Shane here with another episode of Lone Wolf Survival. So, what we're going to talk to you now about is, you've seen us cooking in the field before and everybody says what well, connoisseur I am. So, what we want to show you is some of the stuff that we use, that we actually take with us, that you can use um, in your kit. Um, whether it be in your bug out bag, whether it be in a larger sack, maybe you're going for some mid to long term sustainability. Um, we use the same stuff every time. I don't carry a lot of cooking gear with me. Um, I'm an iron skillet cook. That's what we primarily do 95% of everything that we eat when we're out in the field. So I'm just going to kind of go over a couple things that, that we carry and uh, some of the different products that are out there. And then once again, it's up to you, what, whatever your needs are. If, you're, if it's an overnight, if it's your bug out bag, if you're using Sterno, if you're using a Sterno stove, something like that or it's on a larger scale and you've got a larger pack and you want to use either a propane or a butane stove. So the first thing I'm going to talk to you about right now is the is I'm actually cooking with a with a Coleman butane stove. And the the butane canisters are rated for roughly 16 hours of of, of cooking um, depending on the heat you're using. Uh, the benefit of the butane stove is as you can see I'm on a plastic table right here and I've got aluminum foil down just for the splatter because remember, survival doesn't have to be nasty and I don't want to have to clean all this stuff later. So there's no there's no resist, there's no heat coming from underneath the unit, so it's very cool to the touch. It doesn't generate as much surface heat as some of the other stoves would. It's a single burner compact unit, um, easy ignite, really good little unit. So some of the cookware we use. Everything is iron skillet. These are seasoned. We put them on a fire pit. We put them on top of the stove top. Um, I carry two. I carry two iron skillets. Some of the cookware we like stainless steel utensils, spoon, spatula, larger spatula. Now I use this one if I'm actually cooking on the fire, so I don't have to get in so close. Set a uh, set a, a fork. Set of plastic spoons, hole and without, plastic spatula. That's pretty much all the utensils I use for whatever we're doing out here. Some of the other, some of the other things that we use, and I've talked about before, is we like the Stanley stuff. I like the stainless steel because it's easy to clean up, and it's really good. Um, I can boil water, I can boil these back out, disinfect them, and I know I, I don't have any potential bacteria contaminants. So we've got. Stainless steel, we got a stainless steel pot here. Got one of the Stanley pots here, like I've showed you before. Stanley pot comes with bowls and actually has a set of plastic utensils on the inside. Has a set of plastic utensils that clip in, two bowls, two lids. That's a really nice set. We use that a lot. Of course, my Stanley cup, so I make my coffee in. Got two cups in here. So we don't carry a lot of gear with us. I, I don't. I don't need a lot of gear for this stuff. Like I said, most thing we do is, is over a fire anyway. Um, as far as eating utensils, plastic fork. Coleman makes them. You get them at Walmart. They're like six bucks for a pack of eight of them. Use these things over and over until you wind them down to a nub. And then the Coleman camp plates. Like two bucks a piece, you know. These things are great. We beat these things to pieces, and that's pretty much all I use when we're out in the field and we're doing and we're cooking. My two skillets, and I'm gonna flip my I'm gonna flip my burgers here while I'm talking. Um, don't use a lot of seasoning in the field. We don't carry a lot of stuff. I've got a small bag that I keep most of my seasons in. Um, I do carry always try to have with me even in my large bag y'all seen me before I'm a follower of Pam nothing sticks to Pam even the lid won't stay on uh, the multi spice with the salt and the pepper and the curry and the garlic of course everything's better than A1 I put A1 in my eggs and for God's sakes um, so that's pretty much all we work with. You don't need a lot of stuff. You don't need a 72-piece vision cookware set. 
normally I don't have real estate for it anyway. I'm going to carry stuff in my bag. So a few, a few iron skillets if you want to use a Dutch oven, a couple stainless steel pots, and then, you know, whatever application, whatever application you're using, you know, like I said, a sterno stove, something like that, you want to choose what you're going to be preparing. We don't, we carry, when we're doing these outings, we carry a, a lot of, you know, we don't carry a lot of meat and stuff with us. Just the bare minimums to get us through whatever operation we're doing. So when you're setting your cook kit up, there's a lot of different ones out there. The military stainless mess kits are really good. And cooking a canteen cup, I can cook in my stainless, my stainless Stanley cup if I had to, soups, noodles, things like that. Um, make sure that whatever food or provisions you're bringing with you for whatever your mission is, make sure that you have adequate containers and cookware and source to take care of preparing that and the, and the last thing that I always preach to is make sure that you is, is you keep a clean area don't throw food around don't throw don't throw trash down uh, you don't want animals you don't want bears coyotes cougars mountain lions wherever you're at bugs uh, you don't want these animals coming in you don't want to bring insects in like I said, hygiene and cleanliness is very important. I preach it all the time. I'm going to continue to preach it to you until you get it. Um, survival, prepping, camping, it doesn't have to be nasty, okay? So, as always, I'm Shane with Lone Wolf Survival. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.